Welcome to It's The Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this LED street light. It is a solar panel on one side and LEDs on the other. You can see how big this thing is. It is super bright. Let's see, I got my notes over here. This is a 600 watt light. It is IP67 uh, rated. That means it's waterproof. It is 60,000 lumens is what it says on the website for this. That is super, super bright. It also has an automatic shut, uh, turn on and shut off feature. So like when it's a solar thing, right? So when the sun comes up, the light goes off. When the sun goes down, the light goes on. Super cool. It also has a motion sensor on it. So what it does is it actually turns the power down on a normal basis until somebody walks underneath it. When you walk underneath it or a car or whatever you decide to put this, um, then the light will come on full strength and you get a remote control. You actually get a remote control on this, so when you have this thing mounted way up high on a house or on a pole or something like that, you can control it with this. You don't have to be climbing up. Once it's installed, it's installed. And because it is solar powered, you do not need to uh, wire any electricity at all, so you can pretty much put this anywhere that you can attach it to. Again, uh, the side of the house or a pole. Um, it's got built-in battery pack to it and everything. Now, the company did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is, what it looks like, how it it works and um, all the bits and pieces that comes with it to install it. Now for installation, I, I, uh, I, I have a, a temporary pole that I can mount this onto um, or you can also mount this onto like a side of the house or something like that. I don't have the availability to do that, but I do have a, like a long ladder I can attach it to as well. So I'm going to show you what this is like out in my backyard after it gets dark uh, to show you how it well it illuminates. But let's take a closer look at it here in the studio first and then we'll go to the other stuff later. Okay, so taking a closer look at this, you can see all these LED lights on. It is on now because I have this upside down and the solar panels are being covered uh, by the, the table. So it is there. Now this is a uh, this is a metal type material here. It's, it's heavy duty. It's not plastic. It is very well made. Uh, these are some of your sensors and so forth here. Um, this is where you put your pipe in to connect, uh, connect to the pipe. And let's see the light went off when I lifted it up because it was getting the sunshine on there. And then of course you got the solar panel part of it. Uh, very nice. Again, it's waterproof solar panel. Very cool. And then you are gonna get this mounting pipe here as well. And now this is designed again to go um, up either up against a, uh, a house, uh, wood or any of that kind of stuff. But they also give you this piece here to mount it on a a pole or a pipe or something like that which um, i'm going to be doing to uh to demonstrate this we're going to put this up somehow uh to show you that so you do get all that there now of course you do get some instructions with it now the instructions um it's an all-in-one solar user manual that's for the remote control um, it gives you all the pieces and parts and then how to install it and then on this side, uh, how the motion sensor works. So it just shows you uh, that it's a th it goes down to 30% brightness. When someone walks through, it goes up to 100. Then it dims again on that. So basic information there. Uh, again, I showed you this um, part of it here. Now, the um, they do actually uh, give you a couple batteries. This is a little accessory a pack that they are giving us here. And we've got uh, super heavy-duty wall anchors and um, batteries and also a uh, an, uh, an allen wrench so now you have the um uh the batteries for the remote control they just go in the back here so i'll be putting those in and then the allen wrench and these little screws these are the little set screws that actually um, attach the pole to this it just slides in and attaches super simple super easy again you have these these nice little wall anchor kind of things that when you um, screw them in bolt them in these will expand out into a wall if you have that kind of stuff. Now they also give you these longer bolts with the nuts, which is going to be used for this kind of thing for using the pole. I'm going to be using that uh, to attach this here. Now they don't give you any kind of a, a wrench or anything like that. So you may need to get your own um, adjustable wrench like this, a socket set, something that you can put uh, bolts, you can screw the bolts into. You're going to need that as a tool um, but that those are should be very simple to, to have and so forth okay i put the batteries in the remote control here and you have a, an on off button so again if this is up uh, mounted you can hit the on button to turn it on off button to turn it off there um, 
this little sensor button there but you can also um you can dim it from down below now it may not show up very well uh, on the camera because i have a lot of lighting in here but that is full blast this is like half dim it this direction so you can go down to dimmer and then you can bring it up as well again you it might be hard to tell on the on here on the camera because it's a digital camera and i have all the lights and all this stuff um the auto button there that gives you that auto system so it's automatically on and off with the with the light and also the sensor or you can even program it to uh set it for a three hour five hour or eight hour time so if you only want it for a few hours and then shut off you can do that as well so it's a very simple little remote control or and then there's a four hour um to it there's not much to it it's very simple to, to do and operate and then here just to give you an idea this is where the pole goes into it goes inside and then those uh, the, the little screws that they give you go in here to tighten it down on that uh, again it's very simple easy to do so the next step is to mount this outside and when it gets dark I'll uh, bring the camera out and we'll take a look and see how well this lights up my yard Okay, I'm outside my backyard now. I am under the light. You cannot see me, so I'm going to turn it on with the remote control. And there you go. It, you can see how bright this thing gets. Super, super bright. I'm going to go ahead and hit the, uh, the half brightness so that dims it down a little bit. Now, I may have the system uh, uh, set up on my camera to automatically adjust for the light, so it may look the same to you um, because my camera adjusts every time the light adjusts. But uh, it did dim there and then turn it back on, and then I can uh, hit the dimmer light, and it dims down quite a bit, and then goes back on like that. I'm going to hit the auto button. Now I'm going to go ahead and step away from it, and we're going to watch it, see if it dims, and then uh, I'll walk underneath it to show you the motion part of it. Okay, the light is down to the uh, very low 30%. I barely walk out from my overhang, and it, uh, and it catches me, so I'm going to walk towards my camera. I'm way underneath the overhang. Uh, oh, there, as soon as I move just a little bit, it turns on. There you go. So, uh... <clears throat> So it's very, very, very sensitive. Uh, I was way underneath the uh, the overhang, uh, and, and it uh, I just moved barely, and it, it picks me up. So very, very sensitive. You'll and hopefully you'll be able to see it how it goes from down below up to the high when someone walks. But anyways, that is the LED solar street light or back patio light, wherever it is you want to put it. Um, super good, super bright, very nice. And remember, remote control. So if you are looking for something like this, this one may be the right one for you.